Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video on how to clean a potentially damaged motherboard on an iPhone 5C. This can apply to any iPhone. Let's get started. So first, we're going to need a star head screwdriver, just pen a lobe screwdriver, and we're going to take both screws out of the bottom. So lay them over here. Next, we're going to need a suction cup. Put it right below the home button and then carefully pry up and it should come off. If it doesn't come off too easy, use a pry tool or this toothpick looking thing. Next, we're going to need to take the screen off. So we're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver and we need to take off these four screws on the plate. Just a reminder, keep them somewhere where you know where they go or set them in order. Remove the plate. Sometimes there is a clip and it will get stuck. Next, we will get our spudger and we will carefully remove the flex cables on the screen. There's three. Now your screen is off. Set that over to the side. Next, we want to remove this cable right here. Bend it over to the side. Next, we were going to need our Phillips head screwdriver again and remove the battery plate. Next, we are going to need a flathead screwdriver to remove three flathead screws that hold the motherboard down. And there are some other ones with it. Sometimes they're a little bit pain in the butt to get out. And then there is one more flathead screw, uh, screw up here at the top. Now, I removed this screw, this screw, and this screw with the flathead screwdriver. Next, we would need our Phillips head screwdriver again to remove this screw up top, this screw down here, and this screw over here in the corner. And then there's going to be a cellular cable right here we need to pry off. And then there'll be one under over here, so you need to be careful that you don't just rip the motherboard out. But before we do any of that, we are going to need to eject your SIM card. So just take your SIM card tray out. So let's grab our Phillips head and remove this screw up here. Sometimes you will need to get tweezers and try to remove the screw. And then we're going to remove this screw. And then one more that is over here in the corner.
most of them are magnetic, but if your screwdriver is not magnetized, the speaker right here has a magnet in it, and you can rub it against it, and it will remagnetize the screwdriver. So next, we will get ready to remove the logic board. Oh, but first we need to remove this flex cable right here that goes to the dock. And then it will come up. There's a flex cable that runs right here, but I've already taken it off. It's right here. You can see it. And then when you take the motherboard out, there'll be a flex cable up here for the camera. Don't forget to take that out. And then there'll be one right under here. That thing right there. We just need to take it off. That's for the Wi-Fi antenna. Sometimes it's a bit of, bit of a booger, so we need to get our tweezers and just try to carefully remove it without damaging something. There we go. Now, here's your logic board. Um, this phone shows potential water damage, so I'm going to show you right now how to possibly fix that. So let's get started. So first, we're going to need to get a container that the logic board will fit in. And then we need to get alcohol, preferably the higher grade. I have 91%. And then we need to just pour just enough in here to cover the logic board completely. Push it around a little bit. Move it around. Now we could get a toothbrush, old use toothbrush, and just clean off the little connections right here. Very lightly. Just do the whole thing very, very lightly. Next week I'll be doing another video on installing a battery because the battery went bad and I just ordered one. So next week I'm going to be uploading a video of me installing the battery with this same motherboard. So, just let it sit for about 15 minutes or so and 10 or 15 minutes, just let it sit and then after it's done drying, drying, sorry, um, after it's done soaking, we will need to take it out and we'll need to get a can of air, compressed air, to dry it out. And then... So I've already let this soak, but I'm just doing the video just for a tutorial. So we will take the logic board out, check it out as much as you can, and then we will make sure there is no screws around when you blow because you do not, you do not want the screws to go flying. So you just get your can of air, and you just blow. See there, I just lost something. <coughs> but we're just going to thoroughly dry it out. Sorry if you can't see it.
Now that it is pretty dry, we are going to get a cloth of some sort and just let it sit there for a little while. But I'm not going to do that right now. But for best results, just let it dry out on a cloth. Now we're going to reinstall it. Now, first on reinstalling it, we want to connect the first the first flex cable that is right that goes right focus. That goes right there. And it's this one right here in the phone. So we want to carefully connect it. Sometimes it can be a bit of a pain. You just have to carefully reconnect it just like that. Now there's a little bracket right up there in the corner for the antenna. Right up there. So just carefully slide it in. And make sure this flex cable right here is out so the camera and everything so it goes down good. And make sure this one's good. Sometimes you'll just have to use your tweezers to move things out of your way so it's just that much easier on you. Now just slide it back in. Reconnect. Reconnect this one for the buttons. The camera up here. Reconnect the dock. Make sure it just makes that click. Make sure everything's nice and clicked. So first we are going to put in the flathead screws. That look like this. They're with the little flathead tip. You can't really see it. They're really small. But it's got the little flathead tip. And we're going to start in the bottom. Right down here. This, this whole phone is magnetic, so screws are just going to go everywhere. Um, so just be careful with that. And don't screw it in too tight so you don't over torque it and damage your frame. And just get it started. And just lightly do it. And we're not going to tighten it all the way down yet until we get all the screws in so it's evenly it's evenly placed on the frame so nothing's out of a line. We're going to stick this one in up here by the dot connector. Hmm. Yeah, sometimes it's a bit of a pain. The best, the best trick is to do is align the screw on the tip of your screwdriver, so you can just guide it on in there like that. But sometimes that doesn't work either. <clears throat> and I'll just lightly turn that one in, and then for the last flathead one, we put it up here. Now I'm going to go over what I just did. I put a flathead one in right here, right here, and right here by the dock connector. There's two by the dock, and then there's one up here. So next, we're going to get a longer one that goes up here in the top, just for one of the brackets. You'll need your Phillips head screwdriver for this one. And put it in right there. 
That one's a little bit longer than yours because that's the wrong screw because I lost it, but it still fits. And then there is one more. There's actually two more, but I um, lost one. But that's okay. Just try not to lose yours. Now, the one I lost goes right here by the frame. I don't know where it went. Um, it fell on my floor somewhere. And it's impossible to find. I have more in this bucket over here. But um, next, we're going to connect this little cable down here for cellular. And that's a pain too because that's I should have connected that before I put that in there. But that one right there. Hmm. Um can't seem to get it in. Maybe I, I'll get back to that later. Um, now, I do advise you if you have a battery in your phone, before you take anything apart, make sure you always disconnect the battery because there's people that have fried their motherboard not disconnecting their battery. So just always make sure you disconnect your battery. Yeah, I'm gonna come back to that. So next, we're just going to uh, put our battery plate back on. This little plate right here, it only goes one way, so it's kinda hard to get it messed up. The kinda pointed tip, goes towards the bottom so we need our Phillips head screwdriver and there's a long screw and a bottom the longer screw goes on the bottom and the short screw goes on top Like I said, these screws are just so small and it's just so hard to just get them in there sometimes. So I put the short one up here and the longer one down here. Now. We're going to be reconnecting our screen. Don't forget to put your SIM tray back in. We'll be reconnecting our screen. So start from the back. This little back one right here. And put it right here in the back. Make sure you hear that little click. There's another one that goes towards the bottom. And that's what it should look like, the finished product. Sorry for the focus problems. I should have a little bit more light on. That should be a lot better. Now, we're going to get our plate. And the longer screw on the screen plate goes, oh shoot, hold on, I can't seem to get it. Hmm. 
میری نئی نئی سائز مشکل جا رہا ہے Well, it seems like this one's not wanting to cooperate, so I'll put that last. So, one of the really short screws goes up here in the corner. Mm. Yeah, this is really, really... Pain in the butt. Yeah, be careful because like sometimes the screen clips come undone, and then when you put your screen back on, it's not gonna properly work. Um, I would advise you to start from the corner up here. That's the hardest part. Just go ahead and get it over with. But um, when you're doing stuff, just set the screen down so it doesn't damage it, so you don't have to hold it up. Get it positioned and. Then Mm. Now, since I can't seem to get this right, I'm going to put it in the bottom. Put the two screws in the bottom down here. So I can just hold it in. Next, we're going to put the short screw up there. Tighten the bottom ones really good. We're going to get the long screw and put it over here in the side by the frame. Now your motherboard is completely installed and if you would like any more tutorials please comment and subscribe and message me on some tutorials you would like to see. Alright, um, one last thing, we are going to set the screen back on. On the top there's a little groove so just position it right and then just slowly go down the sides top the bottom press down make sure everything's clipped in get your parallel screwdriver and put the two screws in and tighten them down pretty good just remember don't over torque them because you can strip the threads out and you don't want that then remove your suction cup. I have no fingernails, so it's kind of hard. So just get something like that. So I'm just going to put a hole in the suction cup. I got another one. But that's it for this today's video. And uh, like and subscribe. Thank y'all.